Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. We are out here on Timbergold Trails up in the Alpine area of the map. I'm entered in a bighorn competition titled appropriately Bighorns. It is the highest scoring bighorn sheep is my competition entry and the score to beat is 187.2439. I don't think we're going to quite beat that. That's quite the tall order, but I'd like to see maybe a 150s just to get on the board somewhere. But that's the main goal today, otherwise we're just going to hunt around, see what we can find. I've got a tent that I want to place up here, that way I don't have to walk all this way anymore. But without further ado, let's get out there, get hunting, and I'll see you out there. So I pulled up my stats. I've only ever shot... What is that? Oh! Bighorn! Alrighty. But I've only ever shot... I think eight total bighorn is what it said. Seven bighorn is how many I've shot so far. And I don't know if you can hear it, but that little, like, very, very faint flapping is those freaking white tail ptarmigan, I swear. They're so annoying. That's one of the reasons I don't really hunt up here too much, but I really wanted to go after bighorn. I'm waiting for a uh, five star bighorn to show up on Way of the Hunter right now that I'm hoping will make it to five star. But hopefully, I can get eyes on these two. There's got to be two, right? If they're making noises like they're fighting, there's got to be at least two. They're not there. I hear that bird. Just fly. Oh, there he is. Alright, not too bad. I think I saw a second one. Yep, there he is. Alrighty. Well, hopefully, I can line up a shot on him since he's a little more broadside and a little bit closer. I've got the 300 today. Perfect. Dropped right in his tracks. Just gonna slide down the hill a little ways. I don't think I'm gonna get this one. But we've got the 300. I brought the snake bite along with me. I don't know if I'll get a chance to use it. But we'll see. I did just get myself the alpine camo set, so I can sneak around up here a little bit better without being spotted from as far away by these guys. But we'll head over there, we'll see if we can't find that guy and get him picked up. Well, he definitely slid quite a ways down this hillside. But we'll get him picked up. I've still got a tent that I need to place somewhere on this map. But hopefully he'll get us somewhere on the board where I can move forward. Let's see. 148. Not bad. Oh, position number 12. Hmm. I'd like to get like a 159, 60 range one. But we'll get this tent place and we'll find some more. So I finally found somewhere for the tent. Now I'm going to switch out of the fall forest and field camo into the alpine camo. And now we're off to the races, I suppose, just to find some more bighorn. You know, the bighorn are one of those species that I just... There's so much time that has to go into hunting them because if you don't have tents already set up, you've got to, you know, trek all that way from the lodge. It's not as easy as, you know, the Rocky Mountain Elk or the Mule Deer that are right there next to the lodges. See, I keep hearing those white-tailed ptarmigan, but I don't actually see them. Wait a minute. That's not a ptarmigan. That's, that's, that's a sheep. Um. Oh, wait, no. I meant to crouch. Hi. Um. Heart. What? That wasn't heart. I must have like threaded the gap between the lungs and above the heart or something on her. I guess there's a nice wide open valley. I should be able to see her. Oh. Oh, there's more. Okay. Um. 300 it is. Well, you're stuck. 
Money. Perfect. Up next. Um. <coughs> female, female. Um. Don't see anything over this way. Uh, male. All right. See if I can't wait for you to slow down. Come on, come on. Let me let me take the shot. Well, I think I hit you. I think I did. Oh yeah, you're already down. Perfect. All right, where's the female that was with you? I think that's her. Come on. I definitely hit it. Oh, yep, she's down. Alrighty. I'm going to take the next couple of minutes, try to find all four of them. Where's our guy? Where's the guy? Oh boy. Up oh, there he is. Alright. I'm going to mark him. I'm going to go look for the others, and I'll catch up with y'all soon. So I didn't find any of the ones in the valley, but luckily we marked this guy, so I'm able to get him. Hopefully he's an improvement of the last one. He looks alright. Oh, 143. Dang. Just a little bit smaller. Alright, well the female should be up this direction. Hopefully she's not too far. I remember seeing her like slide down the hill a little bit. I think she was near like a rock. Should be. Yeah, there's. Okay. Body hit. Gotcha. So the body hit, she wouldn't have gotten super far since it is the 300. But. I don't think she would have ran this far. This feels. This feels like I've walked too far. She definitely slid down. Let's try back this way with the tracks. There's three. Wait a minute. Oh wait. That's her. She blended in perfectly. I had to have walked right next to her. 43. Alright, well, we've got her. I'm gonna move on to the next open valley and I'll check back with you guys. Well, that's a nice big horn ram. We've just left the other valley, so I wonder... Oh, is he, like, coming back after... I spooked him? Oh, well... I guess that's kind of an answer. Because if he's spooking at that distance and I'm fully camouflaged... There's one of those... Ptarmigan. But if he's spooking from that far away while I'm fully camouflaged, he must have already been spooked. This one, however, does not seem to have noticed me. Let's see. Do you have any friends? You do. Hmm. I'm not gonna get both. There's no way I get both. Are there any males? Well, you're moving a little faster than I want. Well, at least I can see your friend. We'll take that. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna keep an eye out. I'll take it! Oh. Cause there seems to have been a third one. Yeah, I think you're getting away from me. <sighs> Alright. Nothing else running in the valley. Hey, this is Briwa editing. Um, those three golden trees, that's where the uh, bighorn sheep is at? Yeah, she never found that 
Never found it. One more try. One more attempt. Come on. I have no idea if I hit it or if I missed it. <sighs> Alright, well. Let's mark where I think the other one was. That one's way too far out there. I do like doing these competition videos. It gives me something more than just, oh, I'm going to, you know, level up my bow skill or my tracking and spotting skill for a species. Like, I'm going, you know, to win a trophy. And that's, it's fun. These wide open valleys are so pretty. Wait a minute. Oh. That would be a sheep. And this is one of my last bullets. I don't love this angle. I'd prefer if he like started walking again and gave me more of a top down view. Come on bud, stop eating. Just take like four steps forward and up the hill. There you go, there you go. Perfect. A little farther back than I usually would like, but I'm satisfied. I don't see anything else really moving, running, or anything. Alright, well... I don't think I need to mark him, but I'm going to. Because I've already lost so many sheep today. It's unbelievable. I mean, at least I've been able to pick up the rams for, you know, the competition's sake. But I've lost so many females. What is it, like four now? I think I've lost four sheep total. And I'm an hour into this hunt now. Because I start at 8 a.m. and it's now 9.53. And time in classic runs twice as fast as real time. So, yeah. Approaching second hour in game, which means the first hour out of game. Gone just over four kilometers. And I've lost basically a sheep for every single one of those kilometers. But I guess since I fired the shot, everything's going to be spooked anyway if it was there. So we'll just get down here, pick him up. See what we've got. He looks a little smaller. Yep, 140. Okay. Well, we'll keep moving. Well, I don't really want to get all up in here where the puma tend to be. So I think I'm going to move down to this area where we've got like Rocky Mountain Elk and Mule Deer. And I'm going to swing uh, southwest, I think is the direction. Yeah, southwest. I'm going to get to my tent after I've hit this area. But I'm gonna walk the roadway just in case there are any collectibles out because your girl likes picking up sheds and mushrooms and all of the things. So I'll check back in with you guys once we find something interesting or until I get where I'm trying to go. Well, I mean, I won't say no to a Rocky Mountain bull elk. So we'll call right back at him and see if we can't... Figure something out. I don't like to talk over the collar. Oh, I never changed my camo. I have the Alpine camo on. I'm not going to be camouflaged from this guy. Alright. Um. I'm going to sneak in here somewhere. Try and hide up against a tree or something. And figure it out. Alrighty, so I am tucked right up against the tree. I see him coming in. I want him around this so I can take a shot. You're pretty. There we go. Alrighty. Looking at him, I'd say he's like a mm, 280s. He's not huge, but he's not like a 197 only, I think. He looks decent enough. 
I didn't even pay attention to the score estimate and what it went up to or where it started. He doesn't have a lot of tines. Uh, 295. Not bad. Kinda shocked he's under 300. Alright, well, continuing down. I'm gonna head down here, get down to where most people have a mule deer set up. As I was heading down, I found one of the dead cow elk that you'll often find underneath the flocks of ravens. Uh, I think they're just killed by wolves is the whole storyline thing, but they're always blonde, female Rocky Mountain elk, in my experience. But if you want to ignore them, you can. The ravens will eventually just go away. But I figure I might as well put out a call for the wolves since I did get a call from them on the way in. I don't expect much to come of it. I'm just going to keep walking across this field to where I usually get my mule deer. I think I saw something out here. Oh, yep, there he is. There's a buck. He's nervous. I don't know if it's me or if it was something else. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Let's start by reloading. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you seem to be in a slightly better position for me to take a shot at compared to the other one. I don't even see the other one anymore. So I guess tag you're it, buddy. I'm gonna try and get you. I didn't notice if this one was nervous or not. But I guess if he's that close to the other buck and the other buck is nervous, this guy probably is as well. So, I'm gonna get up here, do my best to get over this hill and not spook him since they're already upset. There's the other guy again. Perfectly behind a tree. Oh, there was another one in the back. What about the second one I saw? Yeah, you're spooked too. Alright, I'm gonna take you. That'll do. Alright. I don't think there's any chance of me getting these guys, so I'm just gonna head over there and grab him. None of the bucks in the herd were particularly impressive looking. But I mean, this guy didn't look horrible. Let's see. 122. Harvest value 100. Alrighty. So this is gonna get little to no introduction. This is like five minutes after I just finished recording. I was heading to my tree stand to just sit while I edit. And I got a buck call. Look at this freaking guy. He's gotta be close to 200 for a score. Look at that. We're taking him. So I don't have the right camo to even try this with a bow. Where'd you go? I'm pretty sure we got body that first time. <sighs> I might just chase him until he dies. I'm pretty sure I was low. Still gonna take a trophy shot. I'll take it.
<laughs> so I thought I'd give you a little warning about that, but then I decided it'd be better if I just threw it on at the end as it was. But a nice mealy buck to end out the video, even though he wasn't originally part of the first recording. But I had a good time out here on Timbergold Trails. So far we've placed 12th in that big horn competition, and that is as of now when I'm finishing up this editing. It is not over yet. The competition runs until 2 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, so I won't be putting forth any more effort on that. But as usual, like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment about, I don't know, what haven't you hunted in a while. Subscribe if you want more and notifications as usual. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.